Hello, Kansa. Welcome to your October read of this current year. 2019, to be specific. Hope you all lovely clearance and weirdos that come my way are doing good. What the fuck? Oh, I thought that was like somebody orgasming over the stereo for a minute. Like, Jesus, no. Please. No, they're speaking Japanese. <laughs> anyway, for any newcomers and returners, Cancer, this is for a Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Might work, might not work. Just boop your nose, away we goes, and here we fucking goes. Okay? Okay. You want a personal? All the info is down below. Newcomers, first reading is on the house. And I do accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. You're waiting on something, Cancer. You are waiting or someone is waiting on you. Some shit like that. The situation right here is... Are you putting up an act or something? I don't know. That's, and that seems kind of weird to me. I don't know why. What you want and wish for is communication. Maybe with an Aquarius. You want to reach out. Touch the ether. Look provocative and crazy like and shit, right? But then we got like the King of Swords as the obstacle and challenge coming against you, man. What, like speaking your truth or just speaking the truth? Are you waiting to speak the truth to somebody? Are you putting on a performance until you can communicate? Fears and rejections. The Empress. Female Aries could be a Taurus. Libra, Venetian energy. The mothery, nurturing figure. You're afraid or you're rejecting that. One of the two. Yeah, the best defense is a good offense, huh? Now, you're just being defensive with the Nine of Wands. You're putting your guard up, laying up a fence. Just be like, no one's getting in this bitch. That's how this shit starts and that's how it'll end. How it'll come full circle in this read. What's your vibra- Well, no, not vibration. Your beginning theme. Victory! Do 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 I had an alarm that was that song. That's why I always sing it. And like that was my alarm for like a year and a half when I was working at McDonald's, my first job, man. It drove my roommate crazy, but it was like that was the only thing that woke me up. And the worst part was is like. I'm one of those people who have to let the alarm go off like at least 20 fucking times before I wake up. I'm on my job now though, so that's a good thing. But if I had to wake up early, uh-uh, no. It's going off at least like a million fucking times. You will be awake with me. <laughs> uh, I feel like you don't want to say some truth to some empress because you're afraid of what the fuck she might say. Like, you want to communicate, but you're putting up a performance, and while you're doing so, you're being on guard, man. Like, what is this? How are you going to have a beginning theme dealing with victory, but it's like... <clears throat> you're. It's almost like you're putting on some sort of show, or someone's putting on a show with you, Cancer. One of the two. What are you waiting for, huh? What are you waiting for? Victory! We want to bestow that victory on somebody else. That was a weird way of saying it, huh? That you couldn't see eye to eye with when it came to sharing your world? You're waiting for that? You're waiting to give somebody your blessing that yes, you may share your world? No, but they're, because they're not there. Like, you're not sharing a victory with anybody. They, like, if you did, you're not seeing eye to eye anymore. It's like you guys don't want to share the world. It was just like this person came up, just, it made everything great, and now it's like, hmm. Three of Pentacles, I really feel like you're putting on a performance with this this time. Then not that you're balancing yourself. Oh, God, you let somebody drown to death? Jesus fucking Christ, what? Okay, or you feel like someone was abandoned? Maybe you felt like you got abandoned? 
and someone was too busy like acting like they gave you wine when really it was just some muddy water. They drunk the wine on the way. They got drunk. They jumped. They fell off the horse a couple times, so they had to go back to the river to refill that cup. They're kind of stupid, you know. That kind of person, Cancer. That could be you or the person you're dealing with. That's the situation right here. So I let somebody drown because they were too busy drinking. <laughs> or maybe they let the person who was drinking too much drown. One of the two. Ooh, that'd be fucked up if someone just let somebody drown in their own bullshit. Ooh, that'd be harsh. Um, uh, the shop's closed and everyone done left already. Like, the swords were given away taken up to heaven so someone could heal properly. Nothing was being given, and someone who tried to look like a hero is actually the villain who tied up this bitch, right? Communication with the star! Could be an Aquarius you're wanting, Cancer. You gotta learn to be real gentle. This person has a real gentle side to their harsh exterior. Ooh. Three cards came up real quick. Um, they are powerful, but they know how to be kind with creatures that are weaker than them. But they managed to go and see through everyone's bullshit about a third-party situation. And they saw who the dude in red was, and they did not like it one bit. Like, they did not like this third party at all. They did not like where any of this was going. And that's why they separated. You want to communicate with this possible air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, for sure. Um, definitely could be Gemini, definitely could be Aquarius, but you do want to talk to them. It feels like they aren't giving you what you want or need. However, we got the King of Swords down here, which is the counterparts of the Queen of Swords, um, which is your obstacle and challenge. Um, communicating with somebody. Um, could be with the Libra. Oh, God, there's a lot of air in this, Cancer. There might have been some injustice done. Someone needs to say or talk about some injustices when it came to the third party. Mmm. Well, hot damn, Cancer. It looks like you got some air going on in this. I feel like you gently... Or a person you're dealing with gently wants to break up with somebody. But the other person's like, nah, motherfucker, you remember that one time when you went fucking around and all that, la, 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 and all that shit, right? Like someone's guilt tripping you a little bit or acting like, you know, you're supposed to carry their swords for them while they just walk off and shit. You leave your boat defenseless and such, right? Fears and rejections, this empress, possibly a mother figure, maybe somebody's pregnant. Someone might be fearing or rejecting that idea. Um, and they really don't want to have to pick this stick up, man. They'd rather just go to sleep. They'll sleep right on the damn sticks if it means they don't have to pick it up. This is weird, because the beginning theme's victory. How's any of this about victory? Ooh. Ooh. What? And there's the fence going on? Cancer, what is this? It's like someone doesn't want to be burdened again with a tower that already got knocked down the first time. It's like, maybe this empress sent a shock to your system, or maybe you found out you were pregnant when you didn't want to be, and now it's like, you really, you might potentially be trying to avoid even finding out if you are. Because you don't want to deal with that with that thought process of, oh my god, da 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 da, whatever. Maybe you got drunk and cheated on somebody and ended up getting knocked up by somebody else. Or your person did that to you. Because that's definitely possible in this little read right here. What is this victory, though? Like, that's kind of confusing me. Like, how would, I, how would this, any of this relate to victory? What, I really want to know what the ending is now. I am so confused. I feel like a dog looking at a laser light. Just like, what the fuck is that? You know? Let's see. How this shit will start and how it will end. Someone putting their guard up. Which probably was not the best idea because it did not work out the way they thought it would. It didn't work honestly at all. It's like, it, it's like um, they put two fucking popsicle sticks together. 
and then like glued some googly eyes and be like, I have made a car. <laughs> and that's what they set up for their future. <coughs> Cancer. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. <coughs> whoever this person is. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> I'm okay, kitten. I'm just dying. That's all. That's all. <coughs> Cancer, this queer and right here. Whether it's you or your other person, cross watcher, switch where you need to, of course. You know, like I have no idea who's who. I'm just reading the fucking story, right? But it's like... <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I think I'm done. <coughs> anyway, it's like you want to communicate with a person, right? Let them down gently that you don't want to be in a relationship anymore. Kind of like that shit, right? But this is like the Queen of Swords, the counterpart to the King of Swords down here. You're both upright. But he's sitting there with this fucking monkey. Being like, you know what I got to say? What I got to say is this is a little bit unfair considering all the times I've forgiven you for all the bullshit you've pulled, right? You know, it feels like one of those things where someone's like kind of threatening with how gentle they are. You know, because that's the King of Swords in a nutshell. He could be a really harsh energy. And act like he's doing you a favor by intimidating you. He's just that kind of vibe for me sometimes with this deck, you know? Like, no bullshit whatsoever. And I feel like Cancer, either you or your person, are afraid of, like, finding that fish in their cup and just being like, huh. I also really feel like it has somebody, something to do with pregnancy. Ending theme. You poured your entire cup out just to get this victory? Is this a victory, Cancer? Could also be a Scorpio or a Pisces, but like, is this... I feel like you... I don't know, it feels like this queer it, Cancer, miscalculated every fucking thing. Or wasn't... Or something came up that was completely unexpected, like a pregnancy, for example. Or something, something just sprung up for somebody. And I almost feel like someone got knocked up by somebody else. Or this relationship is dwindling, but like they're act but somebody's putting on this like act in order to put it I don't know. It's like someone's definitely wearing a mask. There's a lot of shit in this cancer. And I'm not sure if I'm even picking up everything, but I I definitely feel like someone being vindictive with the king right here too. You know, this was all manifested and someone like restricted themselves, but now they got a wish that they didn't entirely n realize what would bring like bad karma. Once again, justice could be dealing with a Libra, and this kind of sealed their fate with um, freaking what the world. I'm looking at the word, Jesus. You know? Now someone's all full of regrets and shit, trying to look up some information that they could have found all in themselves when it comes to a very toxic situation that made them into a sort of control freak of a sort, right? Cancer, I don't know who you're dealing with, but it's like they got issues, man. It's like they dumped their whole cup into a victory, and it's like they got exactly what the fuck they wanted. But it's also like they kept themselves so restricted that now the lion is possibly trying to force its mouth open against this woman. She's trying to be gentle, be like, be here, stop it. You know, like just doing the whole mummering mom voice to it. Like, I said, stop it, talking through her teeth and shit. But now it's starting to almost disobey because a wish was granted, but it came with some, what the fuck is the baggage? What, what, I want to know. What's the baggage? I want to know what, what's up with this Nine of Cups because I'm curious. Insecurity. And... Oof. 
I feel like someone should have went for that door because there's actually a bug in that hand. Or someone's gonna catch a bug eventually, but I feel like someone should have went for the door. But instead, they stuck around for the insecurity of it all. Thing in the coin was almost worth it, cancers. Be very, very careful, please. Because people be cray-cray. Watch out for this person, because I feel like... They're gonna throw all their shit onto you. And act like it's all your fault that they, like, emptied their cup out and, like, ruined their chances or whatever. Because that has nothing to do with you. You know, like, if you're not the one who's doing all the stupid shit, like, how is it your fault? Don't let somebody convince you otherwise. You tell them I'll kick their ass. Or you go kick their ass. Like, you know, just make sure that, you, th that if you're going to beat somebody, stick a, stick a piece of, stick a bar of soap in some sock and start swinging away. It won't leave bruises, I promise. It's military uh, tradition, if you will. But I promise, it won't leave any bruises. But you didn't hear it from me, and you didn't do it. In fact, you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it to a person who deserves it. Regardless. No matter what. Anyway, that was your reading, Cancer. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. This, you know, I'll appreciate it, of course. But it's all up to you, really. Once again, if you want a personal read, all of everything is down in the description box below. I love your guys' faces. I'll see you all laters. Bye-byes.